Hey golf fans, this is Early1981 and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be checking out the Razorback. This is a collaboration course from two experienced designers, Sire0329 and Victory LN Sports. So without further ado, let's get right into this one. As you can see, fairways are soft, greens are firm, green speed's fast, everything else is left at default. We've got four tee options, we're going to be playing on the gold tees which are 6,883 yards and as always, pin set number one. I do hope all you fantastic subscribers and viewers are well. It's been an absolutely stunning day here weather-wise. And when I seen this course released, I thought, I've got to go and give this a go. Everyone seems to be doing the TGC um, Tours major event competition stuff. So time. Courses like this could be um, going under the radar. So hole number one, par four, playing 420 yards, stroke index 14. Awesome colour scheme here. Clearly the autumn theme. This is the fall colours of our Kansas, but this course has been designed by two designers who know their way around the designer function. So really looking forward to see what they've produced. We've got a three mile per hour wind. I'm just going to apply a touch of fade here. Certainly want to land on the right hand side of the fairway. Looks like that tree at the left could well be an issue if not. Oh, horrible opening swing. We've got a fast and we've pushed it right so it's probably counteracted each other. And that should roll its way all the way up towards this elevated green. Could well be a pitch shot, that, actually. Not far off it. 96 yards out, up 10 feet. Just going to de-loft this lob wedge. Greens are firm. We are on an uphill slope. Wind should take us around. Oh, push that one right. Oh, that's not get. Oh, I tell you what, guys, I've lofted that up. There you go. The the joy of recording live. I've, I I applied loft to that. I didn't do loft at all. We were way short, and we went way right anyway. So let's see if we can chip this close and get the par save. Green looks like it's going to break hard left. I have pushed it right once again. Good weight in the chip, but poor swing line once again. And I was in the driving range, like if you missed my uh, stats video and my pre-round um, ritual video, it's up in the channel. So not a great start to this round with the, the swing tempo and swing line, but hole number two, par four, playing 448 yards stroke in next six. But first impressions so far are really, really promising. I really love the colours of the autumn theme template. It's absolutely superb. Really nice bridge there taking us over the gorge. And it looks like we'll have an uphill approach shot. I don't think we'll be able to hit driver going by the flyby. It's gave us two would be a default. Let's check the yardage. No, I think we'll club down to the two. We'd try and put a fast on this, an intentional fast. Certainly never <laughs> achieved the fast and we've pushed it hard right. Hopefully we get a kick left. It looks like it should kick to the left. Yeah, favourable bounce there. It's going to leave us an uphill approach shot into this green. Wind's very, very mild today. Very rare that in default you get it as mild as this. So with that elevation, it's playing 185. So totally deal off in this 7 iron. Ball's going to move hard left at our feet. There's a far superior swing line. That should kick on well on these firm greens. And hopefully it may set up our first birdie opportunity. From the green that is, we did have a birdie opportunity on the first with a chip shot, which we didn't play well. So 13 foot putt, green speeds are 173. This is going to turn right and it is slightly uphill. Should turn. Oh, it does turn. A beautiful putt. And we do pick up the first birdie off the rhino. Move to one under par. Hole number three is a par three, playing 233 yards stroke index two. Looks like this hill is going to take us all the way down to the green. Cool pond there that's either side and behind the green. Lovely scenery by the way. Absolutely stunning. So 237 yards down 70 feet I think. 5 hybrid may be too long. I'm going to go and try with a 5 iron, de-loft it and try and get this running up towards the, the pin. Should land on the green hopefully. And with the firm greens, I am looking for a good bounce out. It's a far better strike once again. 
Ooh, this is coming down quicker than I expected. Has it got the legs to get on the green? Nope, just catches the fringe. And we do come up way short there, so poor club selection. So I am going to look to flop this from 20 yards out. We're going to fully loft up the lob wedge, play about a 90% power swing and see if we can get this spinning back towards the cup or maybe even hit the flag. Got 95, should spin up a little bit, does check up and spin back. Probably about a 5 to 6 foot putt for the par save. Straightforward putt, just breaking slightly to the right and we do remain at 1 under par. But I've actually not played a Victory LN Sports uh, course in a long, long time. Neither um, Sire. I know Sire is quite uh, an established player. I think his name's Jack, if I do recall. Um, I'm not so sure about Victory LN Sports. I'm sure he knows his way around the golf course. But hole number four is a par four, playing 437 stroke index four. But what a fantastic looking course this is, guys. So natural. when you execute the autumn theme as well as this, it is just stunning scenery. So slight dog leg left here, winding fairways. Just going to lie the wind. Oh, what is going on with my swing? Wind should take us back round. I think that's going to kick into the, the bunker though. It does exactly that. So my swing, despite being in the, the driving range, doing my, my pre-round warm-up like you seen yesterday, is failing me. So 139 yards, up 17 feet, 87 to 95. I'm going to go with 8 iron. See if we can get this landing at the front. Oh, I've put a fast. It could way be long now. What a strike to. And with that, we're way long. May come back off this slight slope a little bit. It's going to give us a tough birdie putt. But at least we're on the dance floor after a poor tee shot. 23 foot, down one foot. It's breaking to the left. I'm just going to touch this. Breaking both ways. Just getting enough pace on this to get it down the slope. Should start to turn back towards the cup. That's in. And it's a fantastic putt. We do pick up our second birdie off the round. And move to two under par. So great scramble in there. And according to my stats yesterday, I think my scrambling's at 76%. I expected it to be in the 80s, but there you go. Hole number five, first par five of the round. Easiest hole in the course at stroke index 18, playing 506 yards, so should be comfortably reaching this in two. Could well have a good eagle opportunity here, but what a fantastic looking course, guys. I love the detail of all the trees and the, the gorse bushes. The color is absolutely fantastic. They've nailed the lighting as well. The detail in around the course, very impressed. Simple, but effective. So a touch of fade here just to get this ball turning. There's a far better swing line. There's a the fade kicking in. And that should make its way down this fairway beautifully. I reckon it could be a five hybrid, maybe a two iron into this green. All right. You're looking at around 175 yards. Wow, look how close we are. I'm way out with my yardage, so I'm going to come down to nine iron. I'm just looking to land this at the front of the green, these firm greens, that green is sloping downhill, it looks like if we can catch that slope, we may get this close, but I think there is a slight uphill slope as well by the looks of things. So a deal off to 9 iron, decent strike, oh stay up's coming down quick, fairways are, are soft, that's the only issue, and that is not going to get anywhere near the pin. Just a few yards out from hitting the, the green there, but the fairways with it being soft, it's really affecting your run on shots, which I quite like. Nice mixture with the, the soft fairways and the firm greens. That needs to turn. Oh, it didn't turn anywhere near as much as I would have hoped. Good weight on that eagle putt, but it means we are going to tap in this birdie putt and move to three under par. I can't actually recall the last time I played um, soft fairways though, but I think they complement each other very, very nicely. But let's move on to hole number six, another par three, quite a lot of par three so far. Once again, absolutely stunning. Look at the rock work at the back of that pond there. With a tree out in the middle, absolutely superb guys. The writing has been done superbly as you would expect. 
So 205 yards, down 24 feet. Oh, I'm in between clubs here. I'm going to have to go 9 iron. Eight, 9 iron, 5 iron. I'm just hoping this lands quickly with the height we're going to get. Pushed it slightly to the right. Get down. There is a slight slope here that could come back off of. But there's the, the firm greens. Surely that's got to come back. Doesn't look like it's going to. No, it's like stuck up on a ledge here. Maybe that slope's not as severe as what I thought it was. No, it's not. 26 feet down 3 inches. 173 speed, green speeds. Just want to get this ball traveling. It looks like it's running all the way down towards the cup. I'm not sure if I've played that firm enough. That's dying a death very, very quickly. I've left that about 8, 9 feet short. All right, this next cut for the par. 10 feet short. Fortunately, it's a straightforward putt for the par. It's just going to turn to the left. Can't believe I left that one short. So nice par there, but it's really refreshing to see green speeds with firm greens at um, 173 and not 187. That seems to be a, a really uh, really trending amongst designers at the moment. But let's move on to hole number 7. Just another short par 5, playing 521 yards, stroke index 16. But the, the par 5 so far have been very, very short yardage wise. Very tight fairways here. But really impressed with the layout of this course. Pin right at the back of that green. It's going to be another green that we can attack in too easy, depending on the, the tee shot. Quite like the, the way that tree there has been positioned. Just off there in the distance, the green one. Strategically placed. Driver should be able to go over the top of that anyway. It just cuts off your line of sight. And maybe if you... You put a very fast on it, it's in play. But solid tee shot. Our swing's been really inconsistent so far this round. But it's a really nice, relaxing course. You don't have to do so far. I'd not a lot of maths and things with elevation gains or drops. Like this one to snout is, is nine yards. It's very simple to work out. You're just looking to find the green with his two iron. It might just trickle past the pin. Oh, I've put a fast on it. That's probably going to run out with the, the firm greens yeah that's going to bounce way past the green fringe and we're in actually to the heavy rough but it's quite refreshing that you can really attack these par fives so I'm going to be attacking this for the eagle going to be an aggressive chip shot I normally put a slow on these so taking that into consideration there's a slow Oh, good weight just didn't have the line that's actually trickled about six, seven feet past, but we should have a straightforward birdie putt. Five footer. And we do pick up another birdie, and I think we're four under, despite not playing well. But let's move on to hole number eight. It's another par three. And this one's playing 188 yards, stroke index 12, but plenty of variations in the par threes. We've had um, some long par threes, some Downhill par threes. And now we've got probably a... I was going to say a six iron, but it looks like a five iron because it's uphill. That four mile per hour wind. I like how that slope's protecting the, the flag at the front. So you don't want to be short. So I'm just going to loft up this five iron. Oh, it's a laser beam. The wind's not held it up at all. Oh, get down, get down, hit the flag stick. Oh, we're long. We are long. It's another green and regulation we failed to hit. I'm not actually not sure if the green fringe counts as a green and regulation. I've had no achievements so far. Maybe I'm playing that badly, but normally the achievements pop up. Maybe unless there's no course achievements. Good effort. Should turn. Should turn. Oh. So another dirty swing. Pushed that one quite hard right, but it actually worked out in our favour. But I was expecting a slow on my chip shots. I'm not saying the slows really affect the outcome of the, the short game, but I, I'm just so accustomed to, to playing a slow. But hole number nine, par four, playing 481 yards, stroke index eight. It's a downhill tee shot. Slight dog leg, right. Wider fairway, but look at the contour in here. I love the way that if you do land on the left side of this fairway, the ball's going to stay in play and hopefully roll back down to the right-hand side. 
three bunkers in play on the tee shot also. So a lot went in the to fought here. Not intentional fast, and I can tell you why, because when I put an intentional fast on it, my swing line is nowhere near as clean as that. But there's the contouring off the fairways, like I said, really like that. With the wind behind you guys, with a tailwind, that bunker's are in plate. We're just coming up short because we had the wind in our face. 166 yards up, 19 feet, 4 mile per hour wind. I'm going to try and use this slope at the back. So it's going to have to be 7 iron. Just de-lofting this a touch. Try to use the slope, it's at the left hand side at the back of the green. It looks like the ball will filter back down towards the pin. What a strike. Probably our best strike of the round. This could be good. Please don't kick too firm. Is it going to come back? Is it going to come back? Oh, it is. Now, that is a huge round of applause to the designers there, the way they've smoothed that out, because I've seen a lot of greens or green fringes that ball would have held in that. So fantastic contour in there. And we are being rewarded with a six-foot putt, which does drop for birdie number five. By the way, if you haven't already done so, please hit the like button because that was an absolutely fantastic approach shot there, using our environment around us to get the best shot possible. But hole number 10, par four, playing 454 yards, stroke index nine. Now, I, I know we talked about not doing flyovers, guys, but I think the general consensus was do flyovers because I can skip them. But another very cool bridge taking us over the water there. But yeah, like the, the, the highest compliment I can give to designers, I know this is a fantasy course, but it plays like a real course. I'm being punished for bad shots, but I'm also being rewarded for good shots. So I think we're just going to come down to the two wood here, slightly deal off it. Should leave us a mid iron into the green. Decent swing. Not sure how well the ball will run out here in these soft fairways. Decent run out. 287 yards we check up there. Probably about an 8 iron into this. 6 iron. Oh, I'm a lot further back. Once again, I really like the way the slopes are defending um, the pin. Nothing too extreme. No red lines, just yellow. Which has just got enough to defend the, the pin. So 5 iron, fully lofting this up almost. So absolute laser beam. Oh, that's way long. Hmm. Very surprised at that. That I'm sure that said we were um, well elevated. I had calculated at 190 yards with a 6 mile per hour window. We fully lofted up that five, 5 iron, but not to worry. We are on the fairway here, so 187. Looks like we're going to have a downhill putt. This one's certainly going to turn to the right. Oh, that ball just checked up instantly. I, I, that was very bizarre. Great line in that putt. And it does mean we are going to have a tap in for a three feet for the par save. And we are going to remain at five under par. But such an enjoyable, relaxing round, this one, guys. It's hole number 11. Par 4, hold us the hardest hole of the course, stroke index 1, playing 484 yards. I'm having a nightmare with some of my uh, words today. I do apologise. But that's just like a, a postcard picture, some of these holes. They're absolutely sublime. And like I say, really enjoyed my round out here so far. Very realistic, despite it being a fantasy course. So downhill, 41 feet, just going to send us out to the left. Wind should take us round and hopefully we get good distance in this tee shot with a downhill elevation. Despite the soft greens, Solid swing. decent swing. The wind's really moving us round. And that ball has travelled really, really well for us along the fairway. 313 yards despite soft greens and the wind in our face. So 160 yards up, 21 feet I'm going to say it's playing 66 yards into a 6 mile per hour wind. So 7 iron. Just going to try and use that slope to hold us up. We're just lofting the 7 iron up. So hopefully we're not going to be too long here. Use that slope to our advantage. 
Oh, I put a fast in it despite a beautiful swing line, and that is going to go long and left now. Even uh, without the fast, I do believe we would have been too long. But that's going to be a tricky putt now. Really tricky downhill putt, I would imagine. 35 feet, down one foot. Oh, this is going to swing hard right. It's going to get a close look at this, taking my time with this one. Yeah, it's breaking right all the way. Don't want to play this too firm. Just try to find the top of this slope. Good weight. Why is that not turning? That's not turning anywhere as much as it suggested it would. But good weight there is going to leave us with about a five foot putt for the par save. Five foot bang on. This one's tricky. See, knees missed. Certainly going to turn left. It does exactly that. Good read, good putt. And we are going to remain at five under par. So two pars to kick off the back nine. As we do move on to another par three. This one's playing 181 yards. Stroke index 12. Once again, just absolutely fantastic looking par three. I love the rock work on the edge of the, the water. This green is guarded by three bunkers. So a five mile per hour wind, 20 feet. Down seven iron is definitely going to be the club. Not touching this club at all, just going to play it clean, allow that wind to bring us round. Absolute laser beam. Wind's bringing us round nicely. Hopefully, this sits down fairly quickly. Is it going to check up? I think we may just about hold the green. It might actually come back a little bit. Reluctantly turning back towards the the cup and the, it's going to leave us 20 foot putt. Once again, quite a tough break on this one. Quite a tough read, not straightforward. Don't want to play this too far. When we play this too far, and this ball could go quite a bit far past the cup here. Needs to turn. Needs to turn. Oh, great weight. How's that not dropped? So unlucky with that one. But we are going to pick up another part. And we do remain five under after three consecutive birdies. It's another par three. There's been lots of par threes, guys. But the good thing is, lots of variations in the yardage. This one's playing 127 yards. It's going to be downhill. Got a five mile per hour wind behind us. Let's say, let's say it's playing 119. I'm going to have to almost fully loft up this this gap wedge just about there this should sit down fairly quickly with the height we're coming down and the amount of loft hopefully we can put on a good swing here wind is just going to take a slightly right just aiming to the left of the flag oh I've pulled it left a bit yeah it's going left to tell you what yardage was good to Yardage was very, very good. And it is going to leave us about a 7 foot putt for the birdie. 10 feet. Jeez, oh, I'm a lot further away than I expected. It's another tough putt. This could run all the way past the flag once again if we're not too careful. Should turn. Oh, it's turned more than I expected. Sit down. Stop. There's that little check off, run off that I suggested could happen, but... I don't think I could have played that too any more softer, really. We do pick up the par save, and it's four consecutive pars in the back nine. I've got no idea if I'm playing fairly badly or the course has, has got a good challenge to it. I really don't know. Let me know how you guys shoot on this course. I'm sure most of you will go and play this, because it's a course you don't want to miss out, guys. Like I say... Courses like this have got the potential to go under the radar at the moment with the TGC Tours design contest that everyone's covering us now. And that's why I like to do things different in this channel. I want to give everyone um, credibility for the courses that they throw out there and make sure, like I say, they're not going under the radar. So we've got a four mile per hour wind. This is going to move to the left. Just going to allow that wind to take us round. Quite a short par four. Good tee shot. 
This should be nothing more than a wedge. Another solid tee shot. I actually don't think we've missed a, a fairway in play today. Oh no, we did. We kicked into a bunker on the front night. But 132 yards, up 16 feet. Despite that slight elevation, which is 5 yards, playing 137, I'm going to loft up this pitching wedge because it is firm greens. The wind's going to take it to the left. So's the liar feet. What a strike. Oh, this is right on target. Sit down. Oh, what a horrible bounce. And once again, that's the firm greens. It just completely makes a mockery of the game, unfortunately, because that is just not a realistic bounce that you're getting with a, a pitching wedge. And with that, we're 10 feet past the flag. It's another tough putt. Looks good. Looks good. Oh, how many of them have we had? How many of them putts have we had that you're talking millimetres? On another day, we could be about seven, eight, nine under by this round, this stage of the round, but we do take the par. Maybe I'm being tough on myself. I mean, they're not easy putts. My swing's been inconsistent, to say the least. But let's move on to hole number 15. It's another short par, four, uh, par five, actually, playing 534 yards. Stroke index 17. It's another fantastic looking hole. But that's quite refreshing. Normally designers from the back tees um, don't like you hitting greens and twos. Now, I think, bear on a good tee shot here, it should be another par 5 that we should convincingly reach into. And that's from the tips. I can't ever recall, recall a course of this quality that I've been able to do that. So we've got a 7 mile per hour wind that's going to move us to the right. Just looking to land on the fairway and avoid that bunker. Now that was a swing. But good tee shot. But I'm, I don't know, maybe I am play, playing badly because this is the first time I played the course, guys. I'm just straight out from finding it was released, straight into recording. And I've not seen any course challenges pop up yet. Maybe there's not any course challenges, but I'm sure you get money for achieving course challenges. So you want to get something. I know a lot of players are so, let me just take this shot. Two iron, just try to draw this round towards the, the flag. I think we'll be a bit too long anyway. It's a good strike. Uh, we've over over applied the draw. But I even think if that landed on the green, it was it would took us off to the exact same position. But I know a lot of guys out there it won't play courses unless they get money for it. Bizarre. I just want to have a good, good enjoyable round of golf. So we're fully lofting up this uh, lob wedge. We're going to chip this from the heavy rough. Should get a little bit of run out. Horrible swing line. That could turn in, you know. Has it got the legs? No, it doesn't have the legs. Checks up very quickly once again from the rough. But it isn't going to ensure birdie number six. Quite, quite perplexed that the course challenges are not here. Maybe I'm just too quick to play the course and the guys have not got round to doing it. I'm actually not sure how the course challenges work. But hole number 16, par 4, playing 456 yards, stroke index 13. And it's just another fantastic looking hole, guys. I'm so impressed with this one from Victory LN Sports and uh, Sire. Really great course. I do hope you guys get out there and give it a go. But let's actually quickly look at the the course challenges. Uh, details. Where do we go again? There it is. Course, course challenges. Ah, okay. So the only challenge so far is first round. Complete a round without invoking the stroke limit. One of 15 challenges generated. I'm not sure how the challenges work, guys, but maybe um, the designers will pop in and, and give us a heads up on that, because that's quite a rare thing not to have many course challenges. But let's get on to the 16th, slightly downhill. Wind should take us slightly to the left here. It's a decent swing. It's one that's going to ensure we do find the fairway. But like I say feel so relaxed playing this course. It is a very relaxing course. There, there's very little frustration being caused here. I bar a few of my putts that on another day would have dropped in. 145 yards up 27. So let's say it's playing 144. Just going to loft this up a fair amount actually. At 154. It's a great strike. 
Should come back off the slope, by the way. There is a slope. Is it going to come back? Please come back. It is going to come back. Fabulous strike. This could be really, really good. Oh, we've played that really, really well. And let's see if we can pick up birdie number seven here. Try to finish the round strong after a very vanilla bat night. It does turn. One of the easier putts of the round. And we do pick up birdie number seven. So, two holes to play. Hole number 17. Par four, short par four, playing 325 yards. Stroke index number 11. But this course is a natural beauty, guys. Love the bridge work once again. Very narrow um, fairway here. I wonder if we can make this green. I know the wind's against us, but I'm sure we can get close to it. I'm just going to apply touch a draw here. I think the fairway is going to kick us right, but let's try and get as close to the green as possible. Just try to land it on the fairway. I'm sure it kicks right. Looks like it's going to kick right. Good execution. Draws kicked in. Wind's counteracting it. Where's it going to kick? It does kick to the right. And we are going to find the heavy rough. But it should leave us a flop shot. Looks like the green's slightly elevated. 26 yards up 6 feet. Once again, the green's uh, defended by that slope. So Sam Wedge, slight deal off than this. Just try to get it past that slope and let it release up towards the pin. Oh, this could be in. Get in, get in. It's another agonising one. That could have been eagle, but it's going to ensure a little tap in for birdie number eight. And we do move on to the final hole at eight under par. Let's see if we can finish strong here and finish with four consecutive birdies. But really impressed with this one, guys. Please get out there and play it. You certainly won't regret it. But hole number 18, all the fours, 444 yards, stroke index 15. There's that bridge that we've seen on the previous hole. Absolutely stunning course, guys. Really, really impressed. Really impressed with the layout. Like I say, all the fundamentals are, are there, as you would expect from these guys, the writing, the planting. Um, I think the soft greens and the firm fairways really complement each other. I think the 1-7-1 one, one greens are bang on as well with the firm. We've only had two or three unrealistic bounces. But with this wind behind us, comfortably carrying this, this bunker here. Good swing. Good tee shot. And that's going to leave us no more than a wedge. With that wind behind us, we could be really in between clubs here. But 338 yards, we've nailed that. You can't see one of the reasons the guys have made the green soft. It's that it's due to all the slopes and the hills. You don't want severe bounces on them. So we are going to loft up this lob wedge. 104 yards out. 9 mile per hour wind behind us. Should sit down quickly. What a strike that is. It's landing short. Is it going to check up? Yeah, see, that's that's the thing. It, it, it bugbears me is the, the bounces we're getting there. It's very unrealistic. It's not the designer's fault. It's the game's fault. Nothing these guys can do about it. And hopefully we can convert this 8 foot putt. It is going to turn to the right. Down 2 inches. And this should. Complete a 9 under round. Very enjoyable round guys. I really really enjoyed that. I hope you guys did enjoy the video also. So it's a 61. Course challenge completed first round. So that is the only. Um, course challenge here but that for me guys is without a doubt going to be a favorite and a five star i really enjoyed that if you guys enjoyed this video please hit the like button if you are new to the channel hit subscribe button until the next one take care peace out and love you all bye